Hey everybody, I am here with a tip for anybody that has an old Ford N-Series tractor and needs to replace the governor and how you can save yourself a couple hundred dollars and not buy crap that doesn't work that uh, you'll be very frustrated with and then have to do what we just did and I'll explain all that in a second. So the governor on these tractors, they're very old. The governor that was on this tractor, the casing had cracked on it and so rather than uh, what I should have done is just go get the case welded up by a buddy. Instead, I decided to replace it with a new governor, which is this shiny looking piece right here. Looks great, right? Everything looks cool. Two arm design. If you have an earlier N series tractor, it's going to be a three arm governor. But on this tractor, which has an eight N engine, even though it's got some two end parts on it, you want the two arm governor. Um, obviously, it comes all shiny and new. And there's a couple of quick things I should have done before I installed this to know that it was never going to work in the first place. So these governors are very simple. The reason that the tractor has a governor is because these engines work almost in a solid state or a, a, a semi-solid state, meaning that you set the engine at a certain RPM level and you do your work, whether that's brush hogging or plowing snow, whatever you want to do. And so the function of these is actually brilliantly simple. So basically this is what the inside of this, the guts of this thing looks like. In fact, this is the guts of the original governor that, that I pulled off the tractor. And in here you have a plate with some, ball, with some steel balls in here. You have a gear in the front that attaches to the timing gear of the tractor. And this thing obviously spins around. So you're gonna watch this plate. Now as it sits still, you can see it kind of sitting right there. Now watch what happens when I spin the gear. See how the plate moves back and it exposes those balls? I'll do it again, ready? So what's, what it's doing, when that plate pushes back, it's acting against these levers. So as that plate put, the plate pushes back, it's actually putting some strain on these levers. And this is what holds the tractor at whatever speed you have the engine set at. So as the tractor, let's say you're plowing snow and it digs into a snow pile and it pulls the revs of the engine down, these lever, levers will actually move the throttle to maintain the RPM level you have the, the throttle arm set at. Now, you just noticed that test I just did. When I took this, and again, I'll do it again, sitting still, you spin it, you can see the balls, this plate flies back, and you can tell that it's actuating something inside the housing. So, in a properly functioning governor, which is this one, which is a, a factory 8 in governor that's been you know, restored, so to speak, watch what happens when I spin the, uh, when I spin the, the gear. See how the arms came forward? What that tells me is that those balls are working and they're actuating against the arm. Ready? Up, I spin it forward. If I had taken 30 seconds to do it with this piece of junk that I paid a couple hundred bucks for, which is made God only knows where, I would have discovered this. Ready? In slow motion this time. It does nothing. So when I spin this gear, you notice the arms go up. So what this means is inside here, likely there's a, there's a, a yoke, if you will, or a, a, a fork on the shaft in here, right? And that fork is what is pressed upon by this guy to move these throttle levers. As I spin this, nothing is happening. See, nothing. The only thing that moves is if I flop the thing forward or do it like this. So this is junk. And if you do this 10 second test when you take it out of the mail and it doesn't work, send it back. Better yet, don't even buy this. Literally do not buy this. You can buy a rebuild kit for your factory one. If the casing is cracked, you can have somebody weld it up. But again, watch, ready? Back, forward, back, forward. That means it's working. That's what we're gonna install in the tractor. You can buy a rebuild kit for about a hundred bucks. Um, I happen to find this one on eBay for pretty short money. It's really nice, the guy primed it already. But again, if you're shopping any of the popular tractor websites for your Ford N-Series tractor and you see this, avoid it, do not buy it, it is junk.